on to boot. Yeah, and he's the uh, horse that uh, had a little bit of support too, Ali. Uh, this horse prepared by Gary Portelli. Uh, he was scratched from Sydney yesterday. It's a $14 chance, but Gary's pretty keen on his chances. Full meta jacket, but we've seen a little bit of him at the trials. He actually beat our male uh, favourite here in a trial, but what can we read into that, Gary? Well, the favourite was going pretty easy, I'd have to say, but I just like the way my bloke has been extending through the line in his gallops at home and in the trial. Um, he's got something there, whether it's ready to be taken on a black opal yet, I'm not sure, but there's no other races around, so you're base, basically forced into a race over 1,200 a day at this level. Um, wouldn't be surprised he runs top three or four. He's got a big finish on him. Um, it was good to see the favourite that although got beaten, it made a long run out wide then, since he's probably going to get off the pace and be coming with a big run, so we're looking for that from him. Um, Bit of pressure up front, be nice. Uh, made sure that uh, I've changed their name to Gay and Adrian to Gadrian. Um, I think their horse gets pressure on it, and hopefully we'll get over the top of it. Yeah, well, wouldn't be the first time a first start has won the race. It did last year, of course. We wish you well here, mate. Thanks very much. Nice to hear the thoughts of Gary Portelli with that horse on debut, full metal jacket. I think he's a really progressive horse going forward. As they load away, we might just do one final market check here. Fully lit, pretty solid now at $1.70 after going up $1.45. Oms are caught second line, $6.50. Now into six, as I say that. Amazing Eagle, $7.50 into seven. Vela's Best has been really well supported late here, Graham. 26 into $9.50. Odinson, 13 And $16 or more, the rest of them, full metal jacket. We're not too far off. What are your final thoughts? Yeah, I'm with the favourite. I think they can make it two years in a row. Of course, they won it last year with Autumn Ballot before that Queen of the Ball won it and Kalishnikov. The Snowds have had a really good run in the race. They've won four or five of them as well. Gary Portelli's actually about won it back in 2006 with Down the Wicket. So he's uh, represented here by this first starter. But you go through some of the list. Tommy Smith won this race way back in 1988 with Comley Girl with Mick Dippin aboard. So it's a race that holds a lot of special memories for plenty of people. Frank Cleary for the more or less locals. Neville Late won it with Southmere in 2008. What a race this has been over the years. These horses starting to load up here, starting to put them away. Otis and just loading up as well. But our favourite here at $1.70. So just on the drift a little bit, Ali, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. It's our feature race of the day. It's the Black Opal Stakes. Here's Anthony Manton. Dylan Gibbons and Holmes Accord. Holmes Accord about to walk up. He's just having a little think about it. The Gateman get behind him for Tom Berry. And the last one will be Spirit in the Dark. So a final look at the board. Sees $1.70 for Fully Lit. It'll run favourite for Gay Waterhouse Adrian Bott. They've cleaned up the bulk of the two-year-old feature races so far this season. And they'll be trying to make it back-to-back. -back. Black Opal Stakes wins after winning it last year with Autumn Ballet. It was Gay and Adrian's first Black Opal. And they'll try and go back-to-back -back with Fully Lit. Spirit in the Dark completes the line. John McGrath Auto Group, Group 3. Black Opal Stakes field set, Fully Lit favourite. Black Jacket. And they're ready. Stand by for a start. Having a good look at them, the starter. Red light. They're off now. A good start as well with Fully Let, who flew out of the gates. Fully Let all goes straight to the front from Villa's best coming across. Holmes Accords in third. Amazing Eagle settles down in fourth position from Feronius and Spirit in the Dark's caught very wide. They're followed then by Hold the Gold and Odinson racing together. Full Metal Jacket in the second half of the field, three deep. It's around Duplicate and Spritzy Lass is the last one. So it's the local chance in front. Vela's best from Fully Lit, who's half a length away. Second, Holmes are caught. Leaders back third, Spirit in the Dark. Fourth, Amazing Eagle, fifth in the middle. Then came Feronius from Odinson. Full Metal Jacket way off the track from Duplicate. Kate hold the gold and Spritzy Lass is the last one. Vela's best turns in front, fully lit. Just wanted to lug into the home turn and it's Vela's best in front from fully lit who tries to flatten out and set out after the leader. Fully lit got up to Vela's best. Holmes are caught coming hard now. Holmes are caught went up to fully lit. It's Holmes are caught just in front from fully lit. 150 to go. Holmes are caught in front from fully lit. He's pulling clear. Holmes are caught and Holmes are caught for the Black Opal has beaten.
Eden fully lit. Third went to Amazing Eagle. Fourth was Odinson. They're followed then by Ferronius and then Villa's Best. He gave a big sight the local. Then Duplicate Spirit in the Dark. Full Metal Jacket never on the track. Ah, oh, Spritzy Lass along last and one more with it. Hold the gold. Well, Ali, uh, there's your tip getting up. Homes are caught at $6.90, just too strong. Fully lit our favourite race outside. The uh, leader there was a really good run, an amazing eagle runs third. So five, one, three and two in our feature, the Black Opal. And how was that cheer from Tommy Berry as he crosses the line? It's always nice to get a winner for him here in Canberra. This place means a lot to it him. Does. Of course, Shani's from here. Um, he's got a lot of family connection to here, and I think that win actually meant a lot to Tommy. Yeah, it really does, and it means a lot to the Snowdens. They ran third in this race last year with Make a Call, of course.